Welcome to Reverse Robbery, the Director's Cut, Steve 2 Fan Mission by Ripped Freak. Now, the Director's Cut is an update that he released about a year, I think, after. Roughly a year or so after the uh, original release. I don't know what's different, I, never, I didn't play the original, so this is the first time I've seen this mission. However, it doesn't have a briefing movie, so let me read out the text. Yesterday, the Black Rose Bank got robbed. Unfortunately, that's my bank. Someone broke through a wall in the basement, got right into the vault, and escaped with a good bit of coin. The Baron has taken charge and sent in the Bluecoats to do a full inventory to find out what's missing. All accounts are locked down until the investigation is completed. I can't have the government and the watch looking at my finances, so I need to move fast. I keep my most valued possessions in safety deposit box number 28. All I need to do is get in quietly, grab my stuff, and get out. Sounds like a simple job. Simple job, the three most cursed words in Garrett's vocabulary. Let us begin. Break into Black Rose Bank and get the items out of your safety deposit box. A friend has asked you to get the warehouse supervisor fired. Plant something incriminating in his locker. While you're out there, you might as well pick up something for yourself. Get 3100 loot. Once you've completed your other tasks, return to where you entered this district. If the alarms go off, the bank goes into total lockdown. Don't let that happen. Oh, there's more objectives. Rescue your friend's Tragen from the police station and put him to bed in his house. <coughs> 3800 loot on hard. And then on Expert, 4,500 loot. The priceless Chalice of St. Stephen is said to be hidden in this district. That would cover the rent for quite a while. Now, I do notice it doesn't give me a no-kill objective here on Expert. So, just extra objectives to do. So, I guess we do them? I mean, I might regret it being on Expert with what with the hit point stuff. Oh, the loot goals jumped up a lot. 31, 38, 45... Well, I mean, there's a priceless chalice. That should cover a lot of it, right? <laughs> well. Priceless, because even my fence says it's worthless, I bet. He's heartless. A note from Basso. A friend's request. My safety deposit box key. Well, we start with a decent set of uh, equipment here. <clears throat> two separate lockpicks, a long way apart. Uh, two ropes, four waters, five broadheads, one moss. I mean, it's more generous than it's typical for expert. We only have 500, we don't have much money. We don't have a sword. Or a blackjack? I don't know, it's hard to say. I mean, normally I assume Unless otherwise specified that you start with both lockpicks, your blackjack, your sword, you know, your bow. Well, hmm. Healing potion. I mean, I'm probably going to need it, but that's a lot of money. Blast bombs I'll probably need as well. I just don't have much money to spend. I am going to... So I take two flash bombs. Uh, I should get more water arrows. I mean, I don't know, I don't know anything about what the place is like. If, how much moss? 100. I'm going to grab two flash bombs and a healing potion and hope the rest of my equipment is good. That's got some recovery options which I might need. This is... well, we'll see how we get on. Maybe there's more to be found around the town. Who knows? Where do we start? A fancy uh, manhole we've climbed down. Okay. I am only just noticing uh, that I still have my Sukan <laughs> health points mod installed, which I uh, made for a friend. 
Whoops, now it's very dark. Um, instead of the normal shields, the uh, cans of Campbell's tomato soup. Um, which I guess I still had for the last two missions I recorded. I'm going to have to uninstall that after this, but I'm going to keep it for now. That's funny. It doesn't do anything else. It just changes the picture. Right, we've got a note from Bowser. We've got a friend's request. Let's check him out. Hi, Garrett. You know I've been trying to stay out of trouble ever since Genevieve and I got married. I got this job down at the Avery and Sons warehouse. It's pretty good. Just drive the wagon, load the wagon, unload the wagon. The problem is the supervisor found out about my past. He's threatening to go to old man Avery unless I kick back 200 a week to him. I barely make 500 a week, so there's no way I can do that. I was thinking, if I was able to find some illegal substances in this guy's locker, I'd get him fired instead. What do you say? Thanks, Basso. Okay, and a friend's request. Remember Dragon Balbeck? He was a fence we used to go after old go to after old Parkus got himself killed. He's been doing work up in Black Rose Hill. They call him the Milkman, since he runs a legitimate dairy shop as a front for his real business. After the bank robbery last night, the Bulldogs rounded up any locals who were known to be part of the underground. I hear they worked him over pretty hard. Can you get him out of there before they beat him enough that he starts naming names? There's an extra 2,000 in it for you, Grimworth. Okay. That explains the extra objectives better. Rather than just being extra things on a checklist. Oh, so... I climb down that sewer just to emerge on the streets anyway. If I mean, fine. Do I have a map? I do. Does it tell me where I am? Ah, oh, that's where I start. Right. So are we facing south now? Good, good. So we need to get from the police station. Do we have this trigger in the house marked? No. From the police station to his own bed. Did the note say where he lives? Because I don't know. Get him out. Dairy shop. In Black Rose Hill. I mean, I assume this whole place is Black Rose Hill. Dairy shop. I mean, it's probably around here. We don't know. Right, the bank is our primary goal, but I guess we get a lot of space to cover first. I do have my blackjack. Just don't have my sword. Okay. That's fine. So, I guess, let's stop. Let's stop by trying to get to the police station. It's pretty close. We'll head uh, west. I should see what's down here first. Nothing. We can get north as well. Wait a minute, there's a big locked gate there. Oh, we can't go north. It's... I could maybe get up on that ledge. Can't tell if that is stone or wood. Well, it doesn't matter. Take a look at the windows. If anybody's left a window open or uh, a jar, there, I might be able to sneak something out. Oh, we see. This will get me past the gate. Him. Whoops. Hello. Nothing there, just me. Just me accidentally failing to jump. Why I completely failed the jump. Uh, I guess what happens. I mean, it's a very narrow ledge of jumping off. I think I probably just jumped a fraction too too late. Yeah! 
This isn't gonna work well. You know what? Good job, Benny. All right. Well, let's just hit replay, right? Oh no. Uh, let's reload. Before I did my fail jump. Yeah, it's a very narrow ledge. It's very, because of the angle, there's barely room to step forward once before you uh, jump. It's not a difficult jump, it's just more fiddly than I would prefer. And I judge, misjudged the distance going back as well. Got a map around here? Probably just the wind. Alright, well he heard me land there because I couldn't do it softly because that's when I tried to drop down softly so when I didn't move far enough I ended up hurting myself. So, you know. Great start for, for Garrett. Oh. No. Okay, we've got rolling blue coats on the street here. Somebody up there. They're all the gates are shut, aren't they? Right, that's what these markers are. I can go around. Very brightly lit streets. Okay, let's just go while the back is turned. Stupid. It's probably just some rookie. Ah, you don't have a thief to spell arrow in your in your back. Okay. So we want to go through that alley, I suppose. Right in this floor. Oh, maybe we can't get through that alley. Also, was that not an alley? Is my map lying to me? Lots of ledges that can't quite reach. Thought that's where we should be, but uh, hmm, I mean, it looks right. Fishmongers. So that woods, that ledge up there, uh, the beam, I can't see, but maybe we can get onto the ledge there. Let's try it. That's uh, not wood. It looks like wood, but maybe that's just the, the base of it. Let's try the underside of it. Nope. Oh, I think I might have missed it there. I think I might have hit the stone. Nah, that's not that's not gonna work. No. 
<clears throat> yeah, it looks like wood to me, but uh, apparently not. Let's just try and just be thoroughly certain here. That is wood. Okay. Ah, oh, but that's a bad place to shoot now, isn't it? Okay, well, I made it back without taking damage. I'll, I'll take it. Again, when he's gone, when he's turned around. It's a bit more like it. There we go. Okay. I could have got up on that ledge. Looks like I could have. Oh, there's a possibly a window we could open there. Where's where would that take me? In here. Okay, let's just save that on the map. I don't know. It's unclear if it opens. There's a lot of shuttered windows on that on that building. Okay, well, this takes us above the pub. Yes. Can't <sighs> read the thing. Lots of things I can't pick. What's a joy? Another night spent in spent guarding Lord Bloody Gilmore's empty collection. Back when I worked at First City Bank and Trust, I used to say I'd rather the night watch. But here there's almost nobody to talk to. At least Joss is here tonight, but he's not much for conversation. The guy could count his fingers twice and get the wrong number both times. I swear all he thinks about is food. Half these old things look like junk, but Gilmore's little gang of tomb robbers will surely swoon over them. They call themselves archaeologists, but bloody tomb robbers is all they are. So, get Garrett, you know I'm supposed to do that. Well, at least you can get the gates open, huh? Now I get back up, there's, these people don't know how to build with wood. What a terrible, terrible city. Why did I ever come here? Can I climb that? <laughs> I can, okay. So going back up as well, it's a bit easy. What I was going to say is I don't know how long it takes to come back, but it turns out he goes quite a long way before coming back. Or did he just leave? Maybe he just left. Hmm. Is this the same building? Hmm. 
Alright, I'll wait until it goes out and then we'll climb in the window. And pick the lock on my chest. <sighs> for being only 25. Now let's see if we can do that without falling off. Thank you, guy. Wasn't that much time to spare, but that's good enough. I want to chop that banner down. All banners are evil and must be destroyed. He's just... Listen to him. He's just upset by having to look at an evil banner. Down on my sword. Strange noise. Down on my sword. That's terrible. place is very noisy. Are they in here? Oh yes, they are. Okay. There's a bunch of crates I've wanted to do crate stacking, but I can't see anything on the shelf. There's... Oh! There's a good bottle of wine there, okay. Well, some terrible ones. Nothing else I can see there. Gentlemen, we have guests tonight. My friends from the Lost City Society will arrive after sundown. I've sent the cook out on an errand to make sure that the chicken doesn't burn. Dr. Provost from the museum will be here soon. The museum may wish to purchase some of the artifacts from my latest expedition, so he'll need to inspect them. Make sure to let him in right away. And both of you keep an eye on him. Such an eminent scholar as Dr. Provost would never steal from me, but better safe than sorry. <clears throat> Make sure that chicken doesn't burn. Can't tell if they're coming or going. Flaws. Wow, play fires. What do they think they heard there? Same one that's going in and out of the office, or is he a different one? I don't, I don't recall what it was wearing. It might be the same one. Checking the play pots there. Up. 
Someone behind me? Yes, but don't let it bother you. Is that Dr. Provost? Dr. What's his name? For me, is he? Oh, it's bloody loud floors. You know what? I feel like this is a uh, a case where my little friend Jack might be of value. It would be possible to do without, but. Um, given the noisy floors, the constant patrols, and the fact that I have very little limited options for uh, escape equipment. Wait for a moment to go downstairs. That was my moment to go downstairs. Wait for this guy to come and check on the chicken, and then we'll introduce him to our friend Jack. Watching the chicken. Damn it. Where are you? Now I don't know what my timing is. I think he's just gone downstairs. You had a bit of coat, it would not protect your head. Alright, you can sleep there. Is there anything in the sink? Didn't really look, did I? No. There isn't. Right, and then our other guard friend. Here. And he can uh, join his fellow. Dislike missions with open windows everywhere, but yep, here's people out on the city streets every which way. Ah, uh, I see a banner in my instinct, let's go cut it down, but I don't have a sword. joining the guards. Oh, well, actually, we're gonna take you out of here and leave you this is, uh, to blame. Ugh, keep a medallion, it's not worth anything. Masks, though. Oh, another banner. 
Oh, there's lights. I could have turned the lights off. How was I to know that there were lights? Well, it doesn't matter. We'll leave you the blame. It means you have to be not in this house. That's awkward. Maybe you can be drunk outside in the pub. in this house that I want. I mean, apart from cutting down the banners. I guess I just want to keep on going. So it's the same building, but not the same premises. Jump, why don't you jump? Why don't you jump? Again, let's just that. Yeah, I mean, it's not ridiculously too thin. Oh. Well, <sighs> right, I can just do that. Just my imagination, I suppose. <laughs> well, there's a nice dun, dun, dun. house over there I could go to, isn't there? place is this? Uh, this house. Yeah. Is there a lever on that gate? There is a lever. I can open that gate from this side. Okay. Better not open the door into my face. Sir, it's abysmal. Don't touch the books. It's not that one anyway. that so we get a bit of quiet from the uh okay we do have a nice dark closet here okay to hide in thanks security keys so other people have safety deposit boxes i 
I guess. Or maybe this is, no, so safety deposit box keys, label safety deposit box. Maybe this person runs the bank security, that's surprising to me, but I guess not impossible. Anything good here? No. There, he keeps the doctor away, but those ones didn't. Hello? Anyone there? <coughs> I want to check out that corner now, but that's. I can't see any shadows to hide in there. Which is potentially a problem. Wait till I go and then just see if there's anything else in there. Stairs, yeah. Happens to the best of us. All right, so I am now coming east out of these apartments. Right, at least it's to the north. So since that officer went south. So what are we dealing with here? Locked door, I bet I can't pick it. I can. Can I douse that gas lamp or can I only relight it before the end? There's somebody patrolling down here, aren't they? Sounds like they're coming down the stairs. <clears throat> Maybe they Oh, there is another down downstairs from here, okay. Maybe they're just walking noisily up there. Swords. I wish I had a sword. I could go back and chop up those evil, evil banners. Let's see what the notices are. Oh, I 
can't read them. Okay, upstairs or the downstairs? Upstairs, I guess. Well, the lockup's gonna be downstairs, right? That's just another door to the street, so let's just make sure that's open for me to get through. You think your beloved Woodsy Lord is going to help you now? You're kind of caused enough trouble around here. We're going to put a stop to it. Man fool, he amps the oaks and leaves, and he will feed us on you. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy watching you burn. I thought he might be coming upstairs, but no. Keep that lock up. Ugh. Stairs to get stuck on. Where's where's the shadow? Question. Hello? Initial report on the Black Rose Bank incident. The robbers gained entry by cutting through the wall between the bank's basement and the sewer. This occurred exactly at dawn, so the time locked vault door could be opened. The one bank employee present was neutralized with sleep gas. Since the breach was made in the camera control room, the thieves could disable the cameras and operate with no danger of alarms. It looks like they tried to destroy the cameras for good, but failed. They managed to break off the control switches, but now the cameras are locked on and can't be shut off at all anymore. Well, damn. In my opinion, this was an inside job. It's no coincidence that the robbers cut their way into the basement's camera control room. Also, their timing was perfect since the vault can't be opened until dawn. Since the bank personnel are under suspicion, I've assigned several officers to patrol the bank at night until our investigation is completed. Additional notes. Electric drills were used. Possibly a mechanist involved? They knew exactly where to cut in the sewer wall. A friend in City Public Works provided maps. Check the tellers and security guards. See if one starts spending more than he should. Alright, those don't open. Does our friend come in here? I don't know. More evil banners I can't drop down. You know what? I'm sorely tempted to start this mission again with just... Just buying a sword. Put out the candles. That's that's a value. Maybe we leave any valuables in the toilets. No, I can't put out that candle. I don't reason. Oh, I can sit here and watch and wait for them to come. There's another couple of doors to unlock. Not really sure what this timing is like. I'll wait till he's on the way back. Uh, 
Spending too much money on locks. Okay, what do we got? Another red barrel. Another evil banner. Bloody barrel, hello. It's good stuff. Prison key, that's what I need. Some carrots, you know what? Not sure if they helped me see in the dark, but they did help get those hit points back up. Empty. Ah. Another sword I can't pick up. I am bitter about that sword. Oh, it's just the way in, okay. Scout anything up here? No, it's not one of these decorative ladders. Okay, well, we have the key for the prison now. Not sure what he spooked on. One guard, I think, patrolling down here. Probably going in circles. Oh, they've got a lamp. And they've got a... A neck safety helmet, I see. Which cell is our friend in? Maybe that one? Good. Let's see if we saw something. Probably just something. Hmm, he's meant to throw. Hammer? Maybe.
See if we can lock him inside the... Uh... No, we can't pick up the hammer. the doors open. Whatever. Is there something upstairs that maybe I could throw? Can I find anything in the office I could pick up? Oh, there's the boot. <clears throat> Maybe I can throw the boot. I don't think it makes much noise, though. But if not, we could get a glass from the pub, maybe. Is this noisy at all? Don't think it's going to be. We'll throw it in there anyway. something out here on the street. Dishes here. I mean, I could waste one of my broadheads, my precious five broadheads. Well, everyone in here is unconscious, so there should be something here I can pick up, right? This stuff's all junk. Turn to the kitchen, maybe? Yeah, there were dishes in the kitchen. Grab a metal goblet, why not? Oh, actually. This way. I don't know if they come this way or not. There's no way to hide. One of them certainly did.
right, we have our distract the distractatron. Let's hope it's going to work. against the door. Maybe I will have to use a broadhead after all. track of his movements, right? Just make one mistake. No. Nope. He's going back. Guess we can try it again. In, go into the cell. Maybe I need to make the cell, the sound actually come from the cell. He's looking everywhere except the cell. I'll turn you up soon enough. It's going to be necessary to sort of use the cell, and that's hard. Well, we can try it. Yeah, I didn't even register for him. Maybe, uh, maybe we can get him in this one, actually. We could throw it from the inside. Fight me, you coward. Oh, he had something there. Mm 
Guess maybe he saw me. I am moving through patches of brightness. Maybe if I hit the grate. Job done. No, he's got a key. Dang it. All right. Guess we just get out of here. Well, all that for nothing. All right, well, we've got our friend Dragon. I just don't know where to take him to. Guess let's start by getting him safely out of here. Unfortunate failure. Um, I mean, it was successful. We got him locked in the cell. He just, I just didn't realize he had a key himself. You know. Oh well. Uh, but that's a good place to end the episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for the next one.